In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a marble machine in Blender using a bit of geometry nodes to make it super easy to customize your track. So here we are in Blender and we can start by deleting the light and the camera just like that. And then we're going to keep the cube and then click on geometry nodes here at the top and then click new. And this one we're going to call pipe. So just give this a name right here. Next, we can delete the group input node because we're not going to use this cube at all. So we can just delete that. And then we're going to create a curve in the viewport right here. So with your mouse pointer over this viewport, press shift A, then curve and then select Bezier curve just like that. Let's scale it up slightly so it's a bit bigger. And then let's rename this curve here in the outline. I'm just going to call this curve like that. And let's rename the cube to pipe. So with the pipe selected, let's drag in our curve object into our node section right here. And let's connect the geometry to the geometry on the group output node. And then also change this to relative as this will just make sure that it's using the scale and the position of our curve. Next, let's create a new node, press shift A and then search for curve to mesh. Bring in the curve to mesh node and drop it onto the line and then drag a line from the profile curve and then type circle and select the curve circle right here. So here you can now change the radius of the pipe as you can see and you can also change the resolution here. So I think 32 is good for now and you can kind of play around with the radius of this pipe. Now let's click on the curve in the outliner and then press tab to go into object mode. And now let's just extrude this so we have a little bit more pipe to work with. So I'm going to select this point right here, press E to extrude. And then I'm just going to rotate that around by pressing R on the keyboard and kind of just positioning it maybe something like that. All right, and then press tab again to go back to object mode. And as you can see, our pipe is not very smooth. So with the curve selected here in the outliner, go to the curve options right here, and here you can increase the resolution of the pipe. So I'm gonna set this to 100 for now. Now let's select the pipe object again, and here in the geometry nodes, there's one more node that we need to add right here before it goes to the group output, and that's the realize instances node. So you can place this node right here, and what this node will do is it will make sure that our pipe geometry is actually real and that our simulation will actually use it as normal geometry. Next, let's create our marble. So I'm going to press shift A to create a new object, go to mesh, and then I'm going to select UV sphere. I'm going to scale this down and I'm going to place it right here by the opening of our pipe. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that the sphere is slightly smaller than the pipe and you don't want to make it too small. You want it to almost kind of fit perfectly into the pipe, something like that. And then I'm also going to apply the scale of this uh, marble. So with a marble selected, press Control A and then select scale. Let's rename it in the outliner to marble. Okay, so with the marble selected, let's go to our physics options here on the side and let's click on rigid body and let's change its shape from convex hull to sphere. One other thing you want to change is here under dynamics, you want to set these values to zero and that will just make sure that there's no damping on the marble. Next, let's select the pipe object, go back to the physics section and then click on rigid body. Make sure this is set to passive because we don't want it to be affected by gravity. And then let's set the shape to mesh. And then very importantly, you want to set the source to final. If you set this to deform or base, it won't work. So make sure that's set to final. Okay, let's see if our simulation is working. So I'm just going to change over to wireframe. And if I press space to play this back, you can see that our marble is actually following the pipe. Pretty cool. So note that the pipe object will not be rendered and that's only going to be used for our physics simulation. We basically going to hide it when we do our render. So next let's create the track. So with this pipe object selected, I'm going to duplicate it. So I'm going to press shift D to duplicate it. And then in the outline, let's call this the track. Okay, with the track selected, go to the physics tab and then make sure you remove or delete the rigid body from the track object. Remember, we only want that on our pipe and not on the actual track. 
with the track object still selected go to your geometry nodes here at the bottom and here we're going to duplicate our current pipe geometry node so click on this little icon to duplicate it and this one we're just going to call track now on the track you can actually delete this realize instances node because we're not going to use it for a simulation so now you can connect this mesh to the output again and now let's delete this curve circle object because we're going to create a different profile for the track now here in the viewport i'm going to create the profile so i'm going to press shift a go to curve and then i'm going to select circle now let's look at this from the top like that and i'm going to hide the pipe for now so with this curve object selected i'm going to scale it down quite small so press s on the keyboard and then i'm going to type 0.1 on the keyboard to make that 0.1 of the scale make sure your snapping is set to increment and with this curve object selected i'm going to press g and then hold in control to snap to the grid and let's move this up one to about three spaces in the y direction now we can duplicate the circle and i'm going to hold in control again to snap to these points and i'm going to place this one around here so one two three from the center and now i'm going to duplicate this one again hold in control and i'll move this one one two three from the center this way and there we have these three circles now we can select all of them right click and click on join to make them one object as you can see our pivot point is currently on this circle right here so we want to center that so with this object selected right click and go to set origin origin to geometry just to place that pivot in the center of this object now let's apply the scale so i'm going to press ctrl a and then select scale and let's rename this in the outliner and i'm going to call this track profile okay so now we can bring our pipe object back and let's select our track object and now here in the geometry nodes under the track object we're going to drag in the track profile and then i'm going to connect the geometry to the profile curve and one more thing you want to do here is you want to set this to relative as well so now if we hide our pipe object you can see that we are starting to get our track profile which is looking pretty cool but you can see if i play this back you can see that our marble is kind of intersecting with that track object so let's fix that quick so i'm going to unhide the pipe again and i'm going to click on the track profile which are these little three circles we created and now what we're going to do is we kind of just want to adjust the size and the position of these three circles so i'm going to go back to wireframe mode so i can see them a bit better and with this track profile selected press tab to go into edit mode and i'm going to select just one of them just this top circle this one right here and with that selected i'm going to kind of just go back to solid view so i can see what we're doing and with that one circle selected i'm going to press g and then y so that we're moving it on the y axis and keep an eye on this pipe here at the bottom i just want to kind of move that on the y until that track is kind of just on the edge of our pipe now we want to do the same with these other two circles so let's select this one and this one we're going to move on the x axis so with that one selected press g and x and now you can see we're kind of moving that one pipe to the side so make sure it's kind of just on the edge of our pipe and let's do the same with the last circle so that one we're also going to move on the x axis so press g and then x and kind of just move that away so it's just on the edge of our pipe object so now we can go ahead and hide the pipe object again and let's see if this is working cool so you can see our marble is following the track which is pretty cool and now if we go back to our layout i can simply select our curve object that we created go into edit mode by pressing tab and now i can kind of just move these points around exactly the way i want to i can extrude this endpoint by pressing e on the keyboard and i can make some adjustments here to our track so you can also tilt your track if you select one of these points you can press ctrl t on the keyboard and you can kind of just change the angle or the tilt of that one point 
So one thing to note if we go back to object mode by pressing tab, every time you make a change or an adjustment to your track, you just want to make a small adjustment to your marble as well. So what I usually do is just select the marble, go to your physics section right here, and make an adjustment to the mass. So you can basically just increase that and that will just reset the simulation. So if we press space to play this back, you can see that our marble is following the track perfectly. And that's how easy it is to create a marble machine in Blender with a very customizable track using geometry nodes. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Have a good one and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.